Hello everyone, how you all doing? In this video, we are going to talk about the iOS 17.2. It is finally released to public and we are going to talk about is it worth installing it on your device? This is the review of iPhone 12. I will be covering all of my iPhones, iPhone 14, iPhone 13, iPhone 10R, all of my iPhones on the iOS 17.2. So make sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already because I keep on coming up with these type of reviews and iOS reviews for you guys. So you don't have to miss those. Also, a quick update on me. I'm not really well right now. I'm having cold. You can probably sense it by my voice, but yeah, I'm having cold right now. So please bear with me and uh, we'll start being active again on this channel. Okay, so I have been using the RC, which is the release candidate. RC is basically a uh, same version. It is the same build number and it is basically the same software that you guys just got it on your device. But we developers or if you have developer profile installed, it does not take anything. You just have to sign up and the developer profile will be installed and you will get the update for free. So if you have the developer profile, you can easily download this update or any beta software on your device. Anyways, that's a topic on its own. We will talk about that in a different video. Today's topic is iOS 17.2 and is it worth installing? Based on my experience on iOS 17.2 on iPhone 12, Let's start up with performance. How has been the performance on iPhone 12 on iOS 17.2? The performance has surprisingly been noticeably better. I mean, I don't really remember last time saying this because performance has probably been pretty much the same since iOS 17 uh, initial stages. I don't really remember the last time when I actually saw an increase in performance. But yeah, this time I do notice a little bit of smoother animations and in general, the launching of apps and all. iOS 17.2 feels really refined version of iOS 17 till date. So performance is not an issue at all on the iPhone 12. But you know what is an issue on iPhone 12? Yes, you guessed it right, the battery life. The battery has been horrible since the iOS 17 on the iphone 12 and the final answer here just concluding it all since my usage on the iphone 12 is not a lot but yeah i still have used this device on ios 17.2 enough to tell you how has been my battery life experience the battery is still not great all right listen in these past few days of using the iPhone 12 on iOS 17.2. Obviously, I was not using this device alone. I was testing the iPhone 14, iPhone 13, iPhone 11, all of these devices side by side. So I have to give all devices equal amount of time. So it's not really possible for me to use one device primarily, but I have used it enough to come to a conclusion that battery life is not worse for sure, but it is not better either. It is probably the same as the 17.1. So if you are on the iOS 17.1, do not really expect anything mind boggling or a lot of changes or don't expect battery life to be any better on iOS 17.2. Also, a lot of you guys over on my Twitter at the rate tech hyped, I am really active there as in I do talk to you guys on Twitter. So if you have any query or you want to talk to me, link is below the like button of my Twitter at the rate tech hype. You can DM me and we can talk about any of your iOS related query or in general, if you want to talk to me. So some of you guys had queries and you were saying that iOS 17.2 betas were downgrading your battery health. Now, see, I have talked about this a lot of times, but updating your device is not equal to battery health going down. Just Take this fact away from your brain. If you think that updating your device will degrade your battery health, that is not at all the case that you think it is. Updating your device just refreshes all the system logs and updating your device just updates everything on your device and battery health section is not updating live. So keep this in mind, whenever you update your device, it will automatically be updated. The performance is really great. iOS 17.2 is performing really great on iPhone 12. Then talking about the battery life, that's pretty much the same. Now, what else is left? 
Yes, you guessed it right, the overheating issues that we had on the iOS 17.1. The overheating is definitely noticeably less here. I don't really notice my device getting that much warm compared to iOS 17.1. I know a lot of you guys were having some of the heating issues that even I was facing on my device. So while charging or while playing games, if your device was getting abnormally hot, that will probably not happen on the iOS 17.2. But still, if you want to really be sure about it, wait for my next video. I will be coming up with a follow up of iOS 17.2 later this week. You can hit that subscribe button and turn on notification of my channel. I will tell you guys that is it worth installing this update on your device or not like a long term review of iOS 17.2. But till now, in my experience, in short, it is definitely worth updating to this firmware i don't really see any downsides of it talking about new features and changes it do not really have anything big change or any big new feature only thing new here is that you have journals app yes we have talked about this app earlier but basically what this app is that you can write your daily activities and in short what a journal is it is of your daily activities and what all you do. Apple also provides you daily suggestions like topic based suggestion on the music you listen or the places you visit. Journals entry support pictures, voice recordings and location information with an organized entry date. Then there is special video for iPhone 15 but obviously this review is about the iPhone 12 so we are going to focus on iPhone 12 only. We are not getting that feature. Even the 14 series is not getting that feature. So that is completely okay. And I don't really think so that we should have a FOMO that we didn't receive this feature. Anyways, concluding this video, in short, it is definitely worth installing iOS 17.2 on your device. It does not really bring any big features or changes that will excite you to update to this firmware. But yeah, it does have some bug fixes, security fixes, and obviously updating your device is never something that harms your device yeah it does not trust me it does not no that is a debatable topic but yeah you can definitely go ahead and update to this firmware it has really nice performance improvements and enhancements and bug fixes are also here one of the biggest bug that is fixed for me Personally, that I noticed is Apple Watch bug when the notification on the Apple Watch and the phone were not synced properly. Sometimes I was getting the notification early on my phone, but not on my Apple Watch or other ways. So yeah, that issue is also now fixed on iOS 17.2. My name is Jay. Thank you so much for watching this video till the end. I will catch you guys in the very next episode. Peace out and have a great day, everyone.